you doing, guys? Oh man, is it ever cold. All my buckets of water at my new ultimate duck house are all frozen. So I'm gonna have to have another solution for the ducks. God, it was like minus eight last night here in Ontario. Frigid. Just walking down to my drive shed here because I got a lot of work to do today here at the farm. I want to split some wood today. Yeah, I want to split some wood. And I want to collect some wood. So I need to go wood hunting. And I need to shred some leaves for mulch. And I need to chip some of the small branches in my shredder chipper. So that's quite a lot of work. You know, winter's coming and I gotta get things done before my fingers get frozen. I'm gonna have to wear gloves today, that's for sure. It's a beautiful day though. Absolutely beautiful. You know? Look. Ooh. We got a two week booking in a couple of days. So I'm trying to get prepared for that. You know, make sure we have all the essentials for them. It's a two-week stay, so it's it's a great uh, it's a great booking. Beautiful day here on the farm today. I should get lots of work done, although it's cold, but I should get lots of work done because uh, you know it's been raining here like crazy. A lot of rain, tons of rain. Molly, come here. Come here. Yeah, we've been getting tons of rain and because we got this guest coming I do want to make a first impression because um, it is a two-week stay so it's it's a it's a great uh, it's a great booking so I want to uh, blow the driveway of all the leaves and it's a long driveway but all the leaves are all wet so I'm hoping that my blower can just kind of pick them up and blow them off to the side I just want to you know, the problem is if uh, you can't see if there's any twigs or sticks or branches buried in the, the leaves. I don't want anybody puncturing their tires or anything, even me when I come here. So I feel like I just got to give it a quick blowing with my backpack blower to, uh, to clear the road so it's back to the gravel. Anyways, that's it. Hope everybody has a great day. I know I will. And uh, thanks for watching, appreciate it.
here in our driveway with my partner in crime, Miss Molly. And uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna use my backpack blower and blow the leaves off the driveway here. Because I can't see the gravel and I can't see if there's any twigs or sticks or branches or anything sharp that's gonna puncture my tires. So let me get at it. I'm just, I just did about half. Still have the other half to do, but my trigger finger is kind of tired. It's not easy, it's a lot. I mean, it took me maybe like 45 minutes, but it's looking good. It's looking good. So now I'm gonna take a little break from that because my trigger finger is tired and I'm in the woods. And I'm gonna see, there's a couple of trees that are dead but they haven't fallen yet there's some wood I wonder if that's gonna be good to burn still feels hard but sometimes when you're when you're gathering wood like this in the woods that has already died and fallen and all that it's it's funky inside you don't want it funky Let's go Molly, back to the back to the mule. These things are heavy, no dilly-dallying. I feel like I feel like Arnold Schwarzenegger in the movie Commando. Remember at the very beginning of the movie Commando when he's living off-grid in that cabin? That was cool.
down to the horse barn. Oh, Molly just did a three foot vertical leap. We're gonna go down to the horse barn and check these chickens. What are you doing? You're peeing right there? You're peeing right there. It's good that she's peeing though. The, uh, the doorbells, the bells that hang down on our door handle, they're working amazing. She hasn't had an accident inside the house for so long. I'm so happy. Molly, you want to get in here? Okay, let's go. You be nice though, okay? Be nice. <coughs> Holy smokes, these roosters think it's morning. Hey, these roosters think it's morning. I've been to the Philippines many times in my life, accompanying my darling to visit her family. I've met all her family back in the Philippines. And uh, that's where I first learned that roosters don't only crow in the morning. For my whole life, up until my 20s, I always believed that roosters crowed only in the morning when the sun came up. Because that's what all the movies and TV shows and comic books and stories and everything. That's what I w grew up to believe. I was never growing up on a farm. But yeah, these things crow all day long. Sometimes even in the evening. That's it's amazing. Uh-oh. Molly's turning into Mad Dog Molly. I see you. You're, you're running a little bit. Ah, you're running a little bit. <laughs> that big leghorn really knows how to crow. That sounded like a full-fledged adult rooster. That was <laughs> that was an amazing. <laughs> These guys are so cool. Look at them. There's like feathers all over the floor in here. I guess they're they're molting. It's amazing. Really amazing. Look at these guys. Molly, calm down. Guys, those are my boots. Those are my boots. They're not food. Those are my boots. Look at the tail on that guy. Look at the tail. All the Rhode Island Reds are getting so big too. Hey, girly, let's go. Let's go. What do you think this is? Chase Chicken Day? Let's go. Molly. Still have so many leaves to clean up. I was blowing them all in the in the front entrance there because we have a two week guest coming and you know I want the front I want the driveway to be looking good there's no more leaves on the trees pretty much the only leaves that are on trees are uh, oaks all the oaks seem to lose their leaves very late or they don't lose their leaves at all they just have leaves stuck on all throughout the winter and then as there's winter storms and the wind blows they just fall off that way just walking over to these buckwheat fields, I can show you our escarpment, which is uh, Oro Hill or Oro Mountain or whatever the neighborhoods call it. Look, beautiful. See all that white stuff? See all that white stuff? I saw my neighbor, I think that's uh, lime. He was putting lime down. That's pretty cool. But yeah, look at the leaves. They're pretty well all gone. There's only, there's evergreens that keep their leaves, obviously. And there's not really a lot of evergreens. But then there's the oaks, all those brownish leaves. Those are oaks. They haven't fallen off yet. Molly, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.
Bye. Bye bye. Come. Come. <laughs> you see when when Molly runs, it's like she's got slicked back hair because she's so fast through the wind and the wind is like blowing her hair right back. You know who Molly reminds me of when she's running through the wind like that and her hair's all blowing in the wind? You remember Michael J. Fox in the movie Teen Wolf? Remember when he turned into the wolf and he was all hairy looking, but it was like blowing in the wind? It was all slicked back like Molly's? That's so funny. We're gonna take real soon. So Molly and I got a pretty big haul out there. Finished cleaning half of the driveway at least. And then I cut down a bunch of logs. And even just, even Molly's peeing, look at her. Even just collecting these woods is a big job because I can't just drive my mule up into the woods. And plus it's on a hill too. So what my plan is right now is to make use of my wicked awesome saw buck and get these logs 16 inches in length. I'm gonna try my best. It's not gonna be perfect. I'm not gonna measure them. I'm just gonna guess. Then, getting some splittage action going on my splitter. So I feel like this is a good section to do all my wood. I got my splitter. All the logs get split right here. I can throw them into any one of these piles. Then I got my shredder over there. So you see how much wood I got collected? That's from one tree. The one tree that we cut down the other day. And I got that going, and then those are like smaller pieces to start the fires, eh? It's always better to, to use smaller, thinner pieces of wood so the fire gets going. Then, I've been using this area here as my wood chip leaf shred section. So you can see all this nice all this nice uh, shredded mulch stuff. Molly, what are you doing? You're getting dirty. Get out of here. I'm trying to show YouTube my mulch. See this, see this stuff, folks? Look at this. This is pretty good considering, oh, Molly, you're, you're crazy. That's pretty good anyways. I, I'm gonna use that around the base of the trees in the orchard.
I wanted to show you guys how powerful my new machine is for splitting wood. 27 ton. So I think it's 2,000 pounds is one ton. 2,000 pounds. So 2,000 pounds of pressure times craziness. I want to show you this huge log I got and see how it rips through this log. It's pretty incredible whoever the hell invented this machine. back sore but I got all that wood shaved and I got it all picked up and I got it all split I got the wood here in three different piles this is the small stuff for to start the fires this is really dry stuff that stuff over there is a little bit greeny so not gonna I'm not gonna burn that this year probably man it's freezing running out of daylight I see all the ducks are rumbling in their in their run you know I'm really enjoying not having to release the ducks every day they're inside their house they can go into the run if they want they can go into the house if they want I don't know what's gonna happen when it's freezing cold like freezing freezing cold um, whether or not I need to close the door maybe there's too much wind coming in the door so I'll have to kind of learn a little bit about that. Oh no, they're all going in. There's one duck. There's one duck, look. It's a female. She doesn't know what to do. Get in the hut, girly. Get in the hut. Too low gonna, duck. Too low gonna. They still got some food. They got a little bit of water. water's frozen this is no good this is no good it's frozen just like me Man, when you put your hand into the water to break up the ice, it's cold. I'm going to have to get me some fisherman gloves. Okay. ducks are so funny they're scared of everything honestly and there was a, a viewer on my channel who said actually my aunt Nancy also said don't shout at them but I was just doing that for fun you know I used to say like ducks get ready to rumble just to kind of get them pumped up but they're scared even like they were scared when they're ducklings they're scared of their own shadow but uh, they're pretty amazing creatures they're getting so big now too, eh? Holy smokes, they're a bunch of chubsters. Uh, 
see, I just walked over here because I wanted to show you. There's this tree right here. See that one big tree there? I think it's dead, but I'm not sure. Definitely that trunk broke off. That should be all good wood to harvest. This too, look at the size of this tree. I looked at it, still hard. Maybe it's been there for a few years, but uh, like look how long it is. It's probably like at least 40 feet. That's a lot of wood. Look at that oak tree right there. You see that oak, guys? See that? Look at it, it's an oak. I can see that it's an oak. I don't know what kind of oak, but look at the center. It's not looking like it's too healthy. I don't know what I can do to fix it though. It's just nature, I guess. Oh, it's bloody cold. There's a lot of new trees growing, baby ones. I'm gonna make sure I protect those because some of these big, huge, 100-year-old trees, they're beautiful, I love them. I don't want them to die, but I kind of feel like some of them are on the, you know, the last few years of their life expectancy. Everything's gotta die, I suppose. But that's what, one thing on this property, it's just amazing. Wow. Okay, I gotta put all my gear away. It's gonna be dark soon. Look at this dog. Look at this dog. She's beautiful. She's got beautiful colorings. We give her a bath all the time. We're trying to make her look pretty. And look at her. Look at her face. You see that dirty face? You know why? You know why there's that dirty face? Because she's digging a hole. She's always digging. Why is this dog always digging? How do you stop a dog from digging? I mean, not a dog, a puppy. She's only five months old. People, YouTube, help me out here. How do you stop a dog from digging? Anyways, gotta go. I gotta put my gear away. I got my trailer to put away. I got to come back and get my log splitter. I gotta go see to the chickens all before it gets dark because we're losing daylight quickly and I'm freezing.